Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And this is the first video of at least five on the new Reason Rack plugin. We're giving this away for free with any purchase from our website for the entire month of July. So take advantage of that if you haven't already. And if you're watching this video from the future, hopefully this information will help you get started no matter how you got the plugin itself. So when you install the Reason Rack plugin, you're actually gonna get two plugins. You're gonna get the plugin and the plugin effect. That's what's loaded up here on my screens. This is the full plugin. It's on a MIDI channel. This is the effect plugin, which is on an audio channel. What's different about this is how the audio is getting processed. The effects version, you're gonna use that just like you would any other effect. So if I wanted to use the Reason Rack reverb, I would just load that up. This is on an audio channel, and then I would be able to use that. And that's the same with any other effects inside of the rack. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and close out of there and focus on the full plugin itself. This is where we can load up instruments and MIDI effects and so on and so forth. So for example, if I wanna load up a subtractor analog synthesizer, I can double click it. Uh, I can select it to, and just hit delete on my keyboard to delete it. I can also browse instruments. If I click right here, it will open the browser. You can also expand the browser over here as well. And you'll see the instruments tab and then I can see my instruments right here. If you have any add-on instruments from like Reason Studios, like you see here, you'll find those there as well. Essentially, this is where you're gonna find everything. You can also right-click to add instruments and effects and utilities and players as well. And you can also do it right here. It's gonna give you that same menu, but right here with the plus button if you don't wanna have a right-click, for example, I guess. We can double-click here in the menu to add, or we can click drag and drop. Clicking and dragging and dropping might be beneficial if for say, I wanna add the matrix here and I wanna add it above the subtractor, I can do it that way. If I just double click, it's gonna add it to wherever I have my selection. It's gonna add it to below whatever my selection is. So if I have my subtractor selected, double click the matrix, it's gonna come in over here. So now the cool thing about the Reason Rack is you can double up instruments here. You can see that I've got the subtractor already loaded. If I jump back into my instruments and I wanna add a bass here as well, just click and drag and drop it. And right now I'm getting both of these patches playing from my same MIDI keyboard. Another cool thing about Reason is the tab button, or if you click right here, it says flip rack. You can actually see the back here, and this is where you can start to do patching and routing and modulation. Now, if you're not interested in this, don't worry about it. You usually don't have to get back here. For the most part, when you load something into the Reason rack, it's going to automatically route for you. There are some cases where you're gonna have to do some routing, like with the matrix here, and I'm actually gonna do a separate video tutorial on that, so I'm not gonna get into it here but just know that it's there and it's a great resource for modulation and getting specific things done. If you look at this like a virtual rack of hardware, for example, it's really, really cool, really interesting and you can get some really great results. There are also presets for all of these. So you can see right here on the subtractor, for example, I've got my presets here. This is the folder. I can cycle through them by clicking the up and down arrows. I can actually click right there and it, when this is highlighted, it will show me all of the different presets I have inside of here. Again, I can just click drag and drop to load it up inside of the instrument. I can save my own by just clicking right there. And that's the same way with anything else. You can see here, if I open this up, it's gonna turn orange and then jump to the patch selection area for that particular instrument or effect. It's working the same way with effects. For example, if I come into effects, and drop a reverb after the subtractor there. And if I click right there, you'll see that it's opened up right here for me in terms of presets. And that's really all there is to it. You're gonna use it just like you would any other VST inside of your DAW, and really the sky's the limit. With the Reason Rack plugin, you get four instruments. If I jump in here, you get these four instruments, you get these effects, you get these utilities, and you get this player. So you get a ton of content. And as I said, it's absolutely free with any purchase from Plugin Boutique for the entire month of July. So get on it while you can, and then come back and visit these videos when you have it and you're looking for the information. Anyway, as I said, I got four more video tutorials coming up. So make sure to subscribe, stay locked to the channel, keep an eye out for our channel's posts, and you'll be able to get more information real soon. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.